Hello and thanks for watching. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the detailed operating expenses module in the Acre apartment development model. Now you access this module in the underwriting tab. And so uh, you've gone through, likely completed your development period cash flow modeling. Uh, you've modeled out your capital stack. You've moved into the operating period cash flows. You've built out uh, your unit type table. Uh, completed your other income, uh, and you've moved to the expenses. Now, more than likely, you'll begin your analysis at the early stages of the process, just using the basic operating expenses component of this model, where here under uh, this column, you'll assign some annual values for each operating expense item. However, as a deal becomes uh, moves down the road, it becomes more real, you're going to want to dig into each one of these operating expense line items. And you can't just do that on this tab. And that's why we've built this detailed operating expenses module. And to access it, you have this toggle here where currently it's set to basic. You just click the detailed. And as soon as we click this, it's going to open a new tab and it's gonna take us there. So I'll just click that. Are you sure you wanna detail your operating expenses? This will override any values currently entered in expenses. So what's gonna happen as soon as we click yes, these blue cells here are going to turn black uh, because they'll now link to a the, the tab where we detail out the operating expenses. And it will override any values we've already entered here. And so just a good rule of thumb, is to uh, jot down your assumptions to date, and that way uh, you can use those as you're detailing out these operating expenses. So I'm just gonna click yes, and it takes us now to a new tab called Detail Expenses. Now we can come back to the underwriting tab, and you'll see now that these are black, all right? And they now link up to the Detail Expenses tab. Now, just like other tabs in the model, it's broken into sections. We have a controllable expenses section, which we can click here and it'll take us there, or we can scroll up and down, uh, or we can click and go to fixed expenses. And those are these here. So I'll come back up to our controllable expenses, which include repairs and maintenance, payroll, general and, ad and administrative, marketing, utilities, contract services, make ready costs, or, or sometimes referred to as turnover costs. And then in terms of fixed expenses, we have management fee, which is an assumption set still on the underwriting tab, uh, insurance, and property taxes. And the sum of those controllable and fixed ex expenses give us our total operating expenses, which flow then back to the underwriting tab, okay? And so I'm just going to talk through a few of these. Uh, it's fairly intuitive, uh, but just so that there isn't any confusion, uh, r and is broken up into three sections, r and general, r and apartments, and then landscaping. And under each of these subcategories, you can identify specific expenses. So under general, you might have just general maintenance, a general maintenance of the common areas, the amenities, fitness area, etc. Uh, R and M of the apartments. So those items that don't fall in under turnover or under capex, uh, maybe general cleaning or uh, uh, repair items that occur mid uh, lease, and then landscaping. And at any time, you can change the subcategory names. So uh, we might change landscaping to landscaping and snow removal or in most cases what you have here these categories will work uh, but it, it you know it won't it won't uh, break the model if you change uh, that value and then certainly these are blue font cells uh, meant to be changed to reflect your cost categories so then we move to payroll and rather than just entering uh, dollar amounts per year for line items you you'll actually detail out your employees at the property. Uh, and so here we have a business manager, an assistant manager. We have two leasing agents. We have a maintenance supervisor, an assistant maintenance technician, and a porter. 
And then th these are their salaries per year. And then we have some assumption for benefits, and that's just a percentage. So we say, okay, this is our subtotal for annual salaries. On top of that, we're going to spend 30% in benefits and taxes, or 89.1. Plus, we're going to assume some bonus. And more than likely, that's a leasing bonus to our leasing agents. And so we say, okay, uh, how this is calculated is it takes this uh, bonus amount, $100, and we say, okay, that's $100 per unit, but we're not going to necessarily pay a bonus on each unit every year. Uh, and so in this case, we said 30%. So the thought is, okay, 30% of our units are going to roll. We're going to pay a $100 bonus when that rolls and gets released by our leasing agent. Uh, and the total then is $9,000. And that then gives us our total payroll cost. 395.1, and you'll notice that 395.1 links back to the underwriting tab. And then we move into general and administrative, and this is similar to RM, except for there aren't sub uh, categories here. Uh, you just identify the uh, general and administrative cost items you have, enter a total amount per year that will sum up in this case to 240,000, which links back to your general administrative. And so forth. Marketing is the same. Utilities is the same. Contract services is the same. Now, uh, make ready costs. You set a amount per unit, and then you you set some turnover assumption. So we're going to say in this case that seventy five percent of units <clears throat> will spend this two hundred dollars per unit uh, each year to for the cost of turning that unit over. <clears throat> and that assumption assumes uh, a certain portion are new leases, but also a certain portion are, are renewals that still have some uh, costs associated with that renewal. Uh, so that gives us a blend of $150 per unit per year or a total of $45,000. And, and again, that 45,000 rolls up to our make ready costs. We sum all of those controllable expenses up, we get a million five, uh, one million five hundred ten thousand one hundred, and then we move into our fixed expenses. So the first uh, expense we have here is the management fee, and that is uh, already done if underwriting G114, so in our underwriting tab, right, here we set the management fee. Uh, then we move into insurance and it's just like uh, just the standard expenses above. You have your line items and your amount per year and that's for insurance. Property tax is a little different. So you have your, your various uh, taxing jurisdictions and the logic here is that there's some tax rate that's charged on some uh, taxable or assessed value. Um, but what you as assume is the value versus what percentage of that value is assessed or taxable uh, may be less. And so in this case, we say, okay, uh, the city has a taxable rate of 0 0.461910. Uh, we think the value is 50 million but the jurisdiction will only charge a tax on 75% of that value. And so we make those three assumptions and the total taxable amount then is 173216. And the formula is we take the value, we multiply it by the adjustment percentage, and then we hit it with the tax rate to give us the 173,219. And we do that with each of the taxing jurisdictions. Now, it, you, the easiest way is you have one tax rate, you know what it is. Let's pretend it's 1.5%. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, 0.5%. You change all these to zero, and now you have just one. And maybe we call this jurisdictions okay and all these right here we can just set to na all right but you also have the option as you'd seen to detail out by taxing district 
And there we complete our total fixed expenses. Uh, we sum that with our controllable expenses. We get 3,221,405, which flows back to our underwriting tab. And thus, uh, we have detailed out our operating expenses. Now you may ask, what if I revert back to basic? And if you revert back to basic, let's, let's do it and you'll see what happens. We just click the basic and it will leave in the values that you had previously set in your detailed underwriting. So what, what essentially happens is a macro runs, it copies all of these, uh, these blue cells here and paste them back as just values. So you, you shouldn't have lost any of your work by doing that. And the same if we go back to detailed, we click, click detailed, it's going to link back to what was previously on uh, this tab and these values now become direct links to uh, the detail expenses tab. If you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for your time today.